Hello, my name is Michael Nelson and I'm a puppeteer with Magical Moonshine Theater. Today I'm going to show you how to make your rope jumping mechanical puppet. Your kit comes with a complete set of instructions and you can use those to follow along as we go through the instructions in this video, but basically we'll be covering the same thing. Now let's see what's inside your kit. I recommend you empty your kit into a tray or bowl so parts won't roll away. Here are your parts. You've got a jump rope with two beads, wooden beads on the ends, and three other beads that you'll be using. You have a half inch dowel that will be the post. It has a hole in it and the hole will go on the top. Of course you've got your base. You have two short dowels, one longer dowel that will go through the arms, your character, and two discs with two holes in them. In addition, your kit comes with a piece of sandpaper and a little short bamboo skewer. You can tell the difference between the bamboo skewer and the dowel for the arm because the skewer, of course, has a sharp point. This will be very handy for cleaning out glue in tight spots if you need to get a little bit of glue out. You can just clean it out and rub it off with your fingers. And the one thing your kit doesn't have that you'll need is some white glue. I like tacky glue because it's a little bit thicker, but any kind of uh, good white glue should work fine. So now we're ready to assemble your puppet. The first thing you want to do is take your sandpaper and smooth off any rough edges on your pieces. These are nice wooden pieces, easy to sand. You can just sand along the edge here. You can round over the corners. Lay it down and get a nice smooth edge here. You'll, you'll see I put some paper down. You can use newspaper. That's just in case I spill any glue. I don't want to get it on the table. Once you have your pieces all sanded, you look for any little rough spots and smooth them off. So there's no little splinters or edges. You can take these tiny pieces and roll them along the sandpaper. Get a nice little, you don't want to change their diameter by sanding away too much, but just a little bit. Get them all nice and smooth. Once you're done with that, you're ready to start putting together the pieces. The first two pieces we'll put together are the post and the base. And we'll use a little bit of white glue to assemble this. I like the tacky glue because it's a little bit thicker, uh, but any white glue should work just fine. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue around the bottom edge of this. You don't want a lot of glue, you only need a little. And as I put this in, you'll notice I use my bamboo skewer. I'm going to put it in the hole which goes at the top and I'm going to use that to show me when this is aligned. You want it, you want the hole aligned with the center line of the base. So once you get it there, you, you push it down doesn't have to go all the way down so that it's all the way out, but you want a little bit of contact there. And then here's where you can use your little glue cleaning tool. Use the end here. I'm just uh, scraping off any little excess glue at the base. Rub it in my fingers and it's pretty much gone because I didn't use too much glue. So there's the base. Now the base is done. We'll set it over here. We're ready to assemble the next part which is going to be the arm and body and one disc assembly. This is what you'll need. You'll need the, the longer stick, longest stick, the one of the discs, two beads, the two beads with the rope between and the body. And this is how we're going to assemble those. We're going to put just a little touch of glue on the end of this, hardly any at all. You really don't need much glue. We're going to push that into the base. You don't want to push it so that it sticks out. You want it pretty smooth on the other side. If it sticks out a little, if you want, you can sand that off or just pull it back out a little. Remove a little of the glue if you want. And then, actually, you didn't need to remove the glue because we're going to put another little dot of glue right there. 
can see it's not a lot of glue. And the next one that's going to go on is one of the beads on the end of the rope. That goes down and this bead is going to be glued both to the stick and a little bit to the disc with the rope going up so that it rope kind of covers that other hole in the disc. Then you put on one bead, the body, another bead, and then a little more glue on the end. And the final bead of the jump rope goes on just so that it's flat at the end. Now you notice I did not glue these two beads or this. If the two beads get stuck because there's some extra glue in there, that's okay, but you definitely want your jump rope figure to be able to move like that. So right now, this piece should dry. I would set it aside, maybe even for as long as an hour. Give it time to dry. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and put together the crank mechanism. Put a little bit of glue on that end of one of the short dowels and work that into the disc, to the hole in the disc, the other disc. See there's a little bit of extra glue there, I'm just going to clean that off. So that that's nice and neat. And then the other dowel, put a little bit of glue on the end of that. And that's going to go the other side. Now notice they're not coming out the same side, they're on coming out opposite sides, so you can get a crank movement like this. If you get any glue on, you can clean it off. Eventually I'm going to put this ball on. You can do that now or you can do it at the very end. It doesn't matter. But at this point, put the top back on the glue and let all of these parts dry for the moment. Okay, now that the glue has had a chance to dry a little bit, we can finish our assembly. We're going to now attach the crank through the post, through the hole in the post, to the disc on the puppet. So one of the things again that we don't want to do is glue the post into the hole, I mean glue the the shaft into the hole in the post because then it wouldn't be able to turn and we want it to turn. So we're going to first put the shaft through the hole in the post, put a little bit of glue, just a little bit, on the end and then put that post into the hole right there. And this is a great place for the little skewer, point of the skewer to get glue out because you don't want the glue to glue the disc to the post. Now you, you see here I have both discs in line with each other and that works but you can also if you wish, turn it so that the discs are offset from each other, which makes a nice look too. And the very final thing is to put a little bit of glue either in the final bead or on the end of the post and glue the bead to the end of your shaft and then of course, the bead isn't dry yet, and so since this one's not dry completely, I will demonstrate the one that I've already made that's already dry. Your puppet is all ready to go. All you have to do now is put the top back on the glue, clean up your workspace, and you are done. Well, thanks for joining me today to make your kit. I've had a lot of fun, and I hope you will enjoy your little jump roping puppet for years to come. We have three different kits on our website right now, and you can find the website at www.magicalmoonshine.org slash kits.htm. See you next time.